So today I'm going to be teaching you how you can use Transmac and um, for those of you who don't know what Transmac is, Transmac is this piece of software that allows you to view um, you know, HFS or um, Apple partitions um, on a Windows computer. So those of you who don't know, you can't view APFS or um, pretty much any uh, Mac partitioned USB or drive um, on a Windows computer. Although on Mac OS you can um, view and edit and write data to NTFS on um, a Mac, which is pretty strange, but obviously due to licensing and all that, you can't really add APFS to Windows, which is a bit of a bummer, but you know, it's fine, because I don't think anyone's going to be um, viewing APFS partitions on Windows. But anyway, um, if you do want to do it, um, the software is mainly made for you. So what you want to do first is download Transmac. So you want to go to your um, pretty much any web browser search bar here. You want to type on, um, type in the, uh, the search bar, Transmac, and um, you'll have this page here. Then you want to go to the first link. I'll even leave it down in the description below. You want to go to this website called AcuteSystems.com. Obviously, those are the developers who created Transmac. Um, click about Transmac. Then Windows. you'll have this shady-looking website, but um, that's in my opinion. But yeah, um, you'll have this website here. And you'll see um, you have all this information about Transmac and how you can view the APFS, um, Apple File System, um, open, read, and do whatever you want um, in there. And you can view the files in the APFS system. So you'll have um, download Transmac and then tmsetup.zip. So click it. And then select where you want to save it. So I'm going to save it in my downloads folder. And then I'm going to click save. And then next thing you want to do is you want to go to tmsetup.zip. You want to click this arrow here and I'll click show in folder. Then next you want to select tmsetup.zip and you want to click extract all. And then click extract. And then once it finishes extracting, you want to open up the folder tmsetup. Then you'll have these two, oops, you'll have these two files here. One called readme.txt and one called setup.exe. Now, it's your opinion if you want to read readme.txt. Um, it'll just have all the change logs in the um, readme and um, warnings and just, you know, the general things you'll have in a readme. But if you don't want to read it, then you're going to want to set up Transmac. So click setup.exe or double click it. And um, you'll have this pop up saying, um, do, you want the, uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Just click yes. This is not harmful, by the way. It will not affect your device in any way. You can only just view um, HPFS uh, partitions. It's not really a virus. So click next, then click next, and then click next. Um, put an icon, yeah, that's fine. And then click next, and then click install. And then um, I'm going to exit out my um, Transmac. Next. Um, then I'm going to untick viewreadme.txt and I'm going to tick um, run transmac and click finish. Then um, you'll have this pop-up saying transmac trial. Now close it because there's this thing I need to state about transmac. Now transmac requires administrator permissions and you know you can't really edit or um, view APFS um, or pretty much any Apple file system um, without the administrator priv privileges. So you might be asking, how do I, um, you know, open it as administrator? Go to your Windows search bar and look up Transmac. Then you'll see uh, you'll have the Transmac application in your Windows search bar. Then click Run as administrator. Then you have this pop-up saying, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, like before? Click yes. Then you'll have, um, you actually have to buy the software, but, you know, there's a certain patch you can use um, whenever the days left for evaluation goes to zero. There is a patch you can use, I might make a video on it, but um, you never know. Um, you might have to, you're going to have to uninstall Transmac and then reinstall it. But to be fair, it's not really a big deal. And just click one. And then you'll have your application, Transmac, right there. Then you will have the um, this like kind of like um, tree here. Then this shows all your devices. So this is my generic USB flash disk or my USB. This is my second hard drive and this is my main drive. So the way you 
um, when like user software basically is, um, you will obviously want to select your device you want to format as APFS. So I've got a generic USB flash disk. I want to right click, so um, click it, and you'll see we have this pop-up saying "Could not access this slash media." Now, don't worry, your USB is not corrupted. There's nothing wrong with it. It just means that it's not formatted to APFS, and that's why Transmac can't read it. So now you might ask, how do you convert it? Well, there is one thing I'm also going to have to say as well. This thing will destroy all your data on your USB. So you may as well back it up before you format it. So go to your file explorer, then click this PC, and you want to select your USB drive. Now my USB drive isn't showing because I think I need to format it in uh, disk management. So I'm going to go to disk management, USB drive. Now my USB drive isn't showing because I think I need to format it in uh, disk management. So I'm going to go to disk management. see yeah this is my USB uh, just to move ball right, let me reconnect it real quick and then you want to head over to this PC and you'll see you'll have um, well you'll see I have all my drives here. So got my local disk, this is my local disk, got my second drive, and this is my second drive, and then this, the main spotlight, EFI, that's my USB name, is here. So what you want to do is back up all the data on your USB. So I don't really care, I can actually just back this up again. I'll save it to my desktop. Yeah, saved. Um it'll be blurred for you. The desktop will be blurred by the way, because not only you guys seeing my desktop. Uh, let's go back to EFI. Uh, so just back up all your data, save it to uh, one whole folder, put it in desktop, put it on documents, put it to downloads, put it wherever you want, but just make sure that your data is backed up. Now if you don't care about your data, um, that's fine, you can just format it. Um, so click X on the File Explorer, head over back to Transmac, you want to click Generics, um, oh, well, you want to select your USB drive, click right click it, and then click um, Format Disk for Mac. And it would say this disk may contain that PC volumes for me to overwrite them. Are you sure I want to continue? Click yes and make sure once you click this, it'll be all, all your data will be gone. Unless you've backed it up, obviously. So make sure you back it up before you click yes. So I'm gonna click yes. Um then let's name it to if you want, so I'm name it to um transmac. Yeah, transmac and uh, support demo. Okay, and then click yes. And I'll format the drive now. All your data is going to be gone now. And I'll format it to um, APFS. And then um, you might have not responding. Um, it actually it does take a bit of time for it to format to APFS. And um, it should be done. And the format will be complete. So click OK. And once you do that, you're com you're pretty much completely um, set up your drive for macOS. Then I have this folder saying transmit. It's not a folder, by the way. This is your um, whole can like um, container for your USB, the APFS container. So click transmit demo, and now you can add whatever you want, so whatever files you want. Now, if you want to put those files, that the files you backed up, back on your USB, you want to head over to the directory where you saved your um, files. Uh, and here's my folder. Like I said, I'm gonna blur this, so you guys won't be able to see. But this is my folder I backed up, so I'm gonna drag it here and um, let's close this. Yep, and you'll see that um, it's just copying all the well all my EFI contents. This I'm actually I use this for my Hackintosh, and that's what I'm gonna be covering next. Um, so yeah, this is my Transmit demo, and then this is my APFS container, and we got EFI. So um, like I said before, I'm just using it for Hackintosh, so it's gonna copy all those Hackintosh files over. Um, and then next one I'm going to cover is um, restore with disk image. Now what this will do is, now back in the days when we used to have Nightwish, right, which was um, kind of like these um, Hackintosh distros, well illegal Hackintosh distros, and what those allowed you to do is, you know, those distros used to run on pretty much any computer because of how many patches they use, and it was actually a good thing, but now, um, you know, a lot of Hackintosh distro websites just shut down. I'm trying to design one right now.
but it's not really going so well. But um, it will be done. It won't fail. It will be done. But a lot of Hackintosh websites are down, so you know you can't really get those distros anymore. Luckily, I have my distro saved, and you can find some of them on really shady websites. But anyways, yeah. Um, back then, you should use an Irish distros. So those distros would come with .dmg files. So with those .dmg files, um, you would want to flash them onto your USB drive. So click yes, then um, disk image to restore. So you want to click these three dots, uh, and then I'm going to select my um, Hacktosh Sierra Zone .dmg. So this is just um, this um, image file I have of Hackintosh Sierra. I don't know how you pronounce macOS, but yeah. Um, so just some Hackintosh Destroy I have. Just double click that. I'll say Disk Image Restore. Click OK. And then last morning, yep. And then it'll f uh, like flash the whole disk draw onto USB now. I don't want it flashing. Oh, I don't want to um, do it because it's going to take too long. But an anyways, yeah. And then you might have your USB back. And no, no, you won't. That won't happen. That's if you flash that image on to the USB. So we're not gonna move back. No Mac volumes found. I'm gonna reformat it. Oops. I'm gonna reformat it with Mac. So format with disk with Mac. Yep. I'll name it to um, trans Mac. Then click yes. By the way, you might have this pop up saying um, you need to format the disk in Drive E before you can use it. Do not click format disk. So if you click format disk, it will format your whole drive, your whole USB drive, and it will format back to FAT32 or NTFS um, or whatever partition uh, Windows can read. So click cancel, click OK, and you'll have this pop up like before saying format complete. So just click OK, TM demo, and then add all the files you want. And then once you unplug that USB, you can plug it into your Mac and um, it'll be ready to use. So, um, anyways, yeah, that's how you use TransMac. So um, I'd like to say thank you to all my subscribers because um, we have reached 173 subscribers and that is um, pretty good. So yeah, so like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.